Um, let's go back into just a quick little review and to go back to what we've gone through so we can now pole vault into the next topic. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, we started off with formulas, right? Um, a sub n equals whatever a formula, n plus 1. This is just a little bit of a review to kind of um, long jump my way into the triple jump for this. So we have a sub n equals n plus 1, all right? Yeah, it's okay. I just talk to myself. No, no. You can just listen to my uh, metaphors I have. So we have a1, a2, a3, a4, all right? And what we did is we just plugged them in, right? a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and it's pretty basic. And then we learned a little bit more difficulty where we said, all right, now go ahead, here's the terms, now go and find the rule, right? Okay. So we went through that. Now the next thing that we went over was we said, all right, well, what if we had a set of terms, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5, all right? And then what if we are able to take the difference of my two consecutive terms and we're able to see, set those equal to each other, What we notice, if we took consecutive terms and the difference between those consecutive terms was equivalent to each other, then what we know is we had an arithmetic sequence, right? And we called that difference d, right? So as long as we have consecutive terms and the difference between those consecutive terms is a constant, then we have an arithmetic sequence, right? Yeah. Good. So that was arithmetic. I just wanted to go back there because. I made three videos on arithmetic and each one of them either had an audio issue or some other.